spent evenings at Amy's house all the time, and she would always encourage me to sing with her. But one day, something amazing happened. I was 12 at the time, I think. She knew I could sing, and I think she was trying to get me out of my shell a little bit. She was like, what's your favourite song right now? I think If I Got You by Alicia was out at that time. I was like, I quite like that song. And she was like, okay, let's sing it, I'll play guitar. Oh, After we done it, she was like, let's put it on YouTube. And I was like, uh, okay, cool. And I remember going to sleep and waking up and then it was a thing. A couple of friends from school were like, oh, I saw that video of you singing on YouTube. I looked on YouTube and I was like, oh, there's a couple like 25,000 here. And then like the next day it was like, oh, like 100,000 and it, it became a thing. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of like the start, I guess, of pushing kind of the musical, mental route. Sometimes somebody comes into your life and they are like, there's a reason why they're there. And she's one of those people in my life. My best friends, Rhea and Emine, have been with me through everything. But even with them, I've struggled to talk about how Amy's death affected me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first time in 10 years that I'll properly talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited that for this to come out and for yeah. to be spoken about? I wanted to do this one for myself. Yeah. There's only so much you can hold inside. And I've wanted to keep silent because I wanted to, like, respect her and mm -hmm. kind of let her kind of be at peace. But then I also feel like, do you know what, there's a side to you her that to people know. should know. I remember you first telling me about Amy being your godmother. Do you remember it? Yeah, we're in an English class and I said to her, oh, yeah, like, my godmother's um, Amy Winehouse. And she went, yeah, my godmother's Britney Spears. Oh, and I was like, her. I didn't really know. <laughs> she scarred me because I thought I'm not telling anyone that anymore. Yeah, I didn't believe her for a long time. I don't know... So when did you then, believe me? When Amy came to the school? Right. It was chaos. It was absolute chaos. And the, the like, paps were all around and we could not, like, back out of the school. I haven't been able to grieve her loss, I don't think. To grieve, I hadn't really experienced loss like that ever in my life, and I still haven't. So for it to be, like, on a, a global scale, it's, like, super amplified and you feel really, like, small but you also feel like a bit of a burden on people if you try and like say things to them so it kind of got to the point where it was like do you know what? I'm just not gonna say anything so why have you started doing this documentary now why now I don't know it just felt right if you asked me this five years ago or even like two years ago I would have said no just because I don't feel like I was in the right headspace yeah to kind of address things that are really personal there was probably only so much I could probably take mm -hmm. and I don't know how much I would have been able to I don't want to cry I don't want to cry it's but... okay but you're finally letting this massive weight off your shoulders and gonna be able to like breathe for the first time yeah well they're yeah. proud of you <laughs> I felt like I had to keep in. But I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna let out because I was too embarrassed to show that I was hurting. <laughs>